Hi, my name is Dr. Arnold. I'm a dentist in Preston, Lancashire. And one of the most common things I hear uh, people say to dentists, some patients have said this to me, is that they hate going to see the dentist. And in this video, I wanna talk about the ways you can uh, manage your dental anxiety and actually look forward to seeing your dentist. So make sure to listen all the way to the end. So one of the top reasons why you might fear the dentist is pain and mainly the injection side of it. Now, nobody uh, wants to be putting themselves in a position where they're um, having pain inflicted and the injection, thinking about the big scary needle, that can put people off and I can understand that. But we have to think about what's going to happen if there's treatment that needs doing and you don't get it sorted out early. It just means that the treatment needed to get you back um, to a good place is gonna be more advanced, it's gonna be more costly. So doing nothing about it isn't gonna make things better. It's better if you're seen earlier so that things can be sorted before they get too advanced. Uh, in terms of managing the pain, uh, nowadays in dental practice, we've got numbing gels that we can use before injections. And that means that when you get an injection, it can actually be painless. So you can actually experience pain-free injections. And um, you know, certain clinicians uh, have got techniques to be able to achieve this. So as long as you're going to a dentist who's able um, to give you painless injections, you can say goodbye to uh, pain uh, whenever you see the dentist. Another reason that might be holding you back from going to see a dentist is the fact that it's an unnatural environment. You know, it's a strange place. You've got this person in your mouth. You don't really know this person. And the fact that there's these, sa these strange sounds, you know, the suction is going off the drill is going off and it's just not an environment you're familiar with and you know again by letting this stop you from going to see the dentist any issues you may have or any underlying problems will never be picked up on and things will only get worse so in terms of overcoming this the best way is to make sure that you find a practice and a clinician you can trust and ways you can start to pick up on that is if you've got family and friends who can recommend a dental practice to you, a clinician that they like to see. That's a great way to now start overcoming this. You can see Google reviews, you can see any content they've put out, and that starts to get you to familiarize yourself with the practice, the building, the inside, the staff members. Um, so you sort of have an idea about the place before you even step foot in it. And once you're there, um, one of the ways that, you know, good dental practices will deal with new patients is the fact that everything will be explained to you step by step. There won't be a rush to just treat. Um, and the first appointment is usually just checking things over, having a look at how everything is. So you won't be having active treatment in that first appointment. So things are paced so that um, you're able to familiarize yourself with the environment, get to know the people a bit more um, before any advanced treatment or any active treatment is carried out. So just being able to find a place that you can build a rapport with that team and that practice, that's gonna mean that it's gonna feel like your second home, or hopefully as you continue to visit that dental practice. What I love to do with my patients is make sure that they can get to um, get a feel for me before they even see me in person. So that happens through videos like this, that happens through my social media, my Instagram, where I'm explaining things and you can see my face, the team that I work with. So you're getting, so you're getting to see how I work and you're getting to know a little bit more about me. So you, there's a, a rapport that's being built already virtually. Some of my patients, before they come in, they wanna have a video consultation so we can talk um, from the comfort of your own home and get to know each other a little bit more before you come into the dental practice. Um, and what I've found is as I explain everything to my patients step by step and hold their hand through throughout the process, they get to a place where they're actually smiling and happy to be coming to see me. Um, so that's because we spent that time at the start building a rapport. And I just wanna share with you what some of my patients have said um, about them coming to see me and how they felt 
about uh, dentistry with myself. So there were quite a few names when I went on Invisalign and I saw Dr. Arnold's name pop up and I had a video call with him um, and he was so lovely and made me feel sort of at ease and I thought right well I'm gonna go with him. I find it very relaxing, they're very welcoming, um, they've always obviously since I've been here they've made me feel at ease, they're very very pleasant and very nice to come to so obviously like I said in my younger years I was pretty much scared of coming to dentists and stuff like that but no um, it's just the, the environment that you go into, they're very, very nice, very pleasant people, very welcoming and uh, they always make me feel welcome when I come in. It's pretty straightforward and all the, um, all the stuff made you feel at ease. Yeah, everyone makes you feel, everyone makes you feel at home and it's, it's just, they're pretty, they're pretty nice. One of the main reasons that people will not go to see a dentist is cost and, you know, with all that's happening in the world, um, people are thinking, I need to really watch how I spend the money that I've got. And that can be a really big thing that stops people from coming uh, to see a dentist. Now, what I would say is that sometimes people um, don't realize that dentistry can actually be more affordable than they think. And what I find is that by avoiding going to see a dentist, if any tooth decay is happening or any infection is brewing and it's getting worse and worse, it means that you're less likely to be able to have what we call minimally invasive dentistry where we can repair the tooth or sort the gum disease. What ends up happening is because you've let it go on for so long, it means that the tooth might have to be taken out. You might need a root canal treatment. You might need an implant, a bridge. And now as we're getting into more advanced dental treatment, that's actually gonna make dental treatment more costly for you. So if you can be seen earlier and maintained, that's actually the cheapest way to, to, to go through dentistry where you're being maintained and things are always being monitored so you never have to really spend a lot on dental treatment. So leaving things as they are is not really a good option because you end up being in an emergency and then you'll be forced to have to spend money uh, on more costly procedures. So I know cost is a big thing. You can now be seen um, as a practice plan patient. So what that means is you pay maybe 15, 20 pounds a month and that covers your checkups, um, your dental hygiene appointments for the year and any treatment that's needed will be at a discounted price because you're a member of that practice, that private practice. Um, if you're seen under the NHS, there's a whole pricing structure to that as well. So whilst cost can be a big thing, um, for many people, they probably think it's more than what it actually will be um, in reality. Another reason that people will put off going to see the dentist is they're just simply embarrassed by the state that their teeth is in, that their mouth is in. Um, but this shouldn't be the case because as dentists, we're trained to help people get to a position of oral health and to a position of maintaining good oral health. So, you know, nothing's gonna surprise us. We've seen it all um, and we want to help you get to a better place. So don't let being embarrassed about your smile or your teeth stop you from going to see a dentist. It might be that you're, you're thinking that you're gonna lose teeth, uh, teeth are gonna have to come out. Well, after some checks and maybe some x-rays, it might actually be the fact that your teeth can be repaired and that you can keep your teeth. And in most cases, I find that, you know, teeth don't really need removing because there are other ways to maintain and keep your teeth. So don't let that stop you from seeing a dentist. I hope you found that useful and it's gonna help you actually look forward to going to see your dentist. And maybe it might be myself in Preston Langshire that you're coming to see. Um, so there, we have it. Welcome to my chair. <laughs>